Hello everybody, tis I the Rumpled One, another reading from the 48 Laws of Power. Law 4. Always say less than necessary. When you are trying to impress people with words, the more you say, the more common you appear, and the less in control. Even if even if you are saying something banal, it will seem original if you make it vague, open-ended, and thinks-like. Pe powerful people impress and intimidate by saying less. The more you say, the more likely you are to say something foolish. Let that sink in. Remember, we want to apply what we learned from the 48 Laws of Power to Obama and how we can take back and restore America. Obama, always say less than necessary. Well, of course, he says slogans. forward, hope, change. Once again, even if you are saying something banal, it will seem original, and if you make it vague, open-ended, it, and sphinx-like. Change. He makes it seem like he was the first one came up with it. Forward. Right over the cliff. So the next time you listen to Obama, see if he follows that law. And in your own life, over the next week or so, look, this, look at people. Listen to what they say. And the people who say the less, see if they have the most behind what they say. Or if they're just full of it. I saw a good joke today. The uh, guy died, and he went to heaven, and he sees all these clocks, and they're all different. And so he said, St. Peter, whose clock is that? It hasn't moved. He goes, well, that was Mother Teresa's. She never told a lie. Well, whose clock is that? I go, that's President Lincoln. He told two lies. And where's President Obama's clock? He goes, well, Jesus has that in the, in the office and he's using it for a fa ceiling fan. So, once again, think about this law. Always say less than necessary.